Hi, happy morning everyone. Welcome to Mid-Tier YouTube channel. I hope you are preparing well for the exam for the AIMS and JIPMER also. For both the exams, some, some persons are doing preparing for both the exams. I hope you are preparing well and our YouTube channels and as well as the class helping you to get a better score and to crack the exams. So we'll start today's five important questions. Okay. Before that, we'll start with a small quote. Success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out. Okay. Success is nothing but if you put us even a small efforts in a repeated manner, that means doing revisions repeatedly, definitely it will help to achieve something. So try to do the revision, whether it is a one subject or a two subject, whatever the subject, please repeat until your exams. Okay. Until you get success. That will give you a, some achievement. Okay, we'll start today's session. First question. Today we are going to see the nursing management as well as nursing process related questions. Okay, first question. A nursing task force has been created to determine whether a new model of differentiated practice would be more effective than the current model. The task force analyzes the data as a basis to examine alternatives which activity does this represent? Please read the question carefully. It's look uh, difficult when you read first time. If you do again, if you read again, it will be easily understanding. What is the question is saying? In hospital, a nursing task force was created. Okay, one group was created. For what? To determine some new model. Okay. To new model to overcome the current model. Okay. So that means already some... Uh, practice they are doing that practice was not effect not effect enough to meet the solution so this task force was created to overcome the problem very easily some other solutions they, they are uh, searching so what this is what this is what what is it called it is critical thinking the activity of analyzing a data on a basis of a some problem to get a solution it is called a critical thinking okay it involves it involves evaluating the information analyzing it okay and making a decision based on the evidence as well as logical reasoning that is called a critical thinking don't think that it is a group problem solving it is not a group thinking it is not a satisfying it is critical thinking getting the gathering the information analyzing the data and giving solution to the particular problem based on the evidence as well as logical reasoning that is called critical thinking it is a management question got it yes next question the nursing group has been charged with the task of solving a patient care problem on the units which step should the this group take first in this process so again some group is created to give the patient care problems in the particular unit so what is the first step as this group has to be make? Okay. The options are investigate what has already been tried to solve the issue, brainstorm about potential solution, gathering information to define the problem, categorize the information in order of reliability. So correct option is option C. Gather the information to define the problem. Whenever if you are making a uh, solution if you are finding the solution you should know what is the exact problem the root cause we have to get it if you want to get the root or a particular specific problem you need to gather the information then you, you have to prioritize particular unit what are the problems are happening so which problem is more and which problem is required acute action so everything is based on the but gathering the information that is very, very much important. That is why this group has to do the gathering the information to define the problem. Got it? I hope it's understood, understood by everybody. Yes, okay. Next question. A serious disagreement has arisen between two staff nurses. Okay. It usually happens in everywhere. The unit manager elects not to make a decision regarding the disagreement until more evidence is collected. 
which part of the nursing process does this manager critical thinking reflect? So what is the scenario is telling? There is a conflict between the two nurses. So the nurse manager, nurse manager or nursing superintendent, whoever it is, the superior person, not made any decision regarding this conflict. So he, he or she requires more evidence, then only he can do the final decision. So what here this nursing manager or nursing superintendent or ANS is doing, this is a critical thinking reflect. So what is the option they given? Assessment, diagnosis, planning, evaluation. So what they are doing? It is diagnosis. This is the manager's critical thinking. Okay, diagnosis is a part of the nursing process. In, you need a more evidence before making a decision. That is what called a diagnosis. Got it? Until uh, you got a evidence, okay? You need a evidence to make a decision. So uh, while seeing the conflict, you cannot say uh, the, blame, the fault, fault is on one person or another person. You cannot say. You need a evidence to get a decision. It is called a diagnosis. So that is what this nursing manager have been done. Clear? Yes. Next question. ANA defense, American Nursing Association defense. It is a systematic dynamic process by which the nurse through interaction with the client, significant others and healthcare providers collect, analyzes data about the client. So the ANA given some definition of the particular part of the nursing diagnosis. What it is? The question is asking systematic dynamic process by which the nurse interaction with the client, significant others, healthcare providers to collect and analyze the data about the client. What it is? It is called assessment. Okay, it is an initial step of the nursing process involving gathering the comprehensive information about the patient. The subjective data, objective data, physical assessment, laboratory uh, laboratory findings, everything will be comes under the assessment. So that is what that is why the ANA given this particular uh, definition about the assessment. Got it? Yes. Next, a clear, precise description of a problem is what? Clear, precise description of a problem is what? Options, definition, intervention, etiology, and diagnosis. So it is easy. It is a diagnosis. Diagnosis refers to a critical step where the nurse identifies the patient's specific health issues based on a true assessment. Diagnosis means don't think that doing some invest. Uh, uh, lab investigation okay not only that the nursing diagnosis is a critical step where the nurse identifies the patient's specific problem health issues which one is more uh, important or acute or chronic okay that is called a diagnosis the, the nurse will prioritize which care should be provided earlier that is based on the diagnosis okay whether it is acute or chronic okay whether it's emergent or non-emergent, everything will be based on the nursing diagnosis only. It is a clear, precise description of a problem. Clear? I hope you understood the management and nursing process question. We'll meet you in the next class. Study well, prepare well for your exams. Thank you all. Meet you in next class.